Susan Batchelder here again. Would you guys believe this is my fifth video I'm making today. I've had all sorts of points I wanted to make. And I was thinking, how do I make all, I'm never going to keep anybody's attention if I try to talk about all this in one video. So I split them up. And yeah, it's either number four or number five. Anyway, it doesn't really matter, but my point is, I have always been camera shy. Always. Um, snapshots, I would always find something that was wrong with it. Uh, as soon as the camera would come out, I was hiding behind something or someone or I was gone from the scene or I'd be the one with the camera and I'd stay on the other side of the camera on purpose. Video, I really didn't like video ever. I used the video camera to catch awesome moments with the kids when they were little and at Christmas and I've often had the video camera out and I would record, but I never wanted to be on it. Then when I started this online business, and there's lots of video out there and everybody suggested, get on video, that's the way to get your message out there. No, I can do it in other ways. What I kept that little monkey chatter that goes on inside your head <laughs> saying. Then once I started in the Power Network, the push was really on have to do video. You have to show people who you are. People are going to join you before your business. I knew all of this to be true. It didn't matter what I did. I could not get myself to publish any videos that I did try to make. And then um, I had a really profound inspiration moment. Uh, a lady by the name of Christina Minaz she has um, nerve damage, as I do. So I really related to her in a lot of ways. And she was doing videos. But it wasn't just that. It was on a call, actually, which I, was, uh, I would never jump out on a call, uh, on a live company call either. But David Wood, the founder of Empower Network, called her out on a call and um, she had a moment because of her painkiller where she paused and she had to just take a moment because she completely forgot what she was saying. And that was my other reason, excuse really, in this last year for not doing the video even though I was, the push was really on to do it is because I had just like kind of the the same fear that so many do of getting in front of the camera and I, I don't know what to say or whatever the sh that it's more like a shyness camera shy and then it was literally an immobilizing fear of getting on camera for work because what if I forget what I'm saying I have lots of those moments where my painkillers will just all of a sudden kind of kick in or I'm, I, I don't sleep very much because of my constant pain, so I'm always overtired. So whether it's you can just completely forget what your what your point was or what you're trying to say because you're overtired, or because suddenly the pain kind of increases and then you just your thoughts just stop right in their tracks. So that was another thing I thought. There's no way I can go on on camera and. Also, because of my pain, some days I just look like crap. I got black circles under my eyes. Anyway, none of that really matters. The thing is, I had all of these reasons, and I would not get on video. It didn't matter how much I would convince myself. We would even be doing uh, mastermind meetings and sessions. I have a few groups of people that we work online, and I would go on live voice, but they would all have their cameras on and I would leave the camera off, um, partly because I do most of my work laying in bed and partly because I just didn't want to be on camera. So anyway, when Christina just, she was just herself. She just said, I'm sorry, I totally lost what I was thinking about and she just paused and David Wood, he's the founder of Empower Network and he he walks the talk so what he says 
he is. He's, he's just real and he's authentic and he was totally patient with her. He had no worries. And he just waited it out and she carried on. It was that moment. I guess that's, that's what I needed. It was just a magic moment and it really inspired me. So I made a video private. I just left it private. And I sent it straight to Christina and to, just to thank her and to get myself to just cross that bridge, get over the wall, turn that obstacle into a stepping stone. Since then, that is what it did. It, it, it's like it was my fuel. I've done about six live Google Hangouts, recorded them. Uh, it took a little convincing to go ahead and share them. Like it was a little bit easier to go ahead and record them, but not to convince myself to share them. And now, I don't know. I think I'm on about my 12th or 13th video. Hey, I'm me. So, hi guys. I'm Susan Batchelder. Sometimes I'm gonna forget what I'm saying. Um, sometimes. I'm gonna look like crap because I slept only two hours last night but I'm still working today because I'm empowered and I'm gonna build this business I'm gonna help my team and um, my business is in motion and so am I sometimes my hair is gonna be greasy and back in a ponytail because I really can't wash it very often with my injury I wash it about every week or ten days who cares hey that's me and I have a whole lot to offer in this business and um, join my team and you'll find out how much I can help you help yourself so that is my message today catch you later